Disco isn't dead when we have the Discogs API. For scraping music albums, artists, releases, barcodes, and more from the world's largest crowdsourced music database. We'll give you a brief overview of Discogs, how to access their API, and walk through a few examples for collecting data out of their platform through our freemium service. In case you didn't know, Discogs is probably the world's largest user-contributed database of music information, with nearly a million community contributors posting data since 2000. Their database currently has 16 million releases, 8 million artist discographies, and 2 million record labels. And what's nice is you can search through almost anything. Just put it in an artist or album, or even a barcode up here, and you can jump to that entity in their database. Here's the page for an artist. You see a brief bio, as well as links to their social media, Wikipedia and more. And down here we can see all of the master releases. Because for each of these master albums we have, they each have different versions which are called releases in the database. So this actually has 55 different releases for this master. And the relevant information like the track list is organized at the master level because it's repeated for each of these releases. The releases are just gonna differ by which country they released in as well as the catalog number and the barcode. So if I go to this specific release within this master, I'll be able to see all the details for this exact release under that master album. We can see the exact catalog number it was released in Europe, the track list which comes from the master, and we can see the exact barcode which is going to differ for each of these individual releases. And if you have a bunch of physical products with barcodes and you need to look these up on Discogs, you can just copy the barcode then paste it into the search field up here, and bam, Discogs will jump you to the exact product and master details in case you're trying to resell that product online. And if you wanna scrape this data, Discogs offers a free API. You can basically scrape anything on their website and half of the endpoints don't even require authentication. You just need to provide a user agent unique to yourself. They just use to identify and crack down on abuse if they see too many of those requests from a single user agent. So under this database tab on the left, you can click on one of these endpoints like artist, and you'll see here there's no authentication. You just make a get request to this URL and just provide your user agent. You can make up whatever user agent you want as long as it's unique to you. But if you wanna access the search endpoint, it's a little bit more strict and you need to provide some authentication with your logged in Discogs user. But don't worry, it's super easy and free. And just look at all the different parameters you can search Discogs by. You can just give it a general search query and you can get back individual releases, masters, artists, or even labels. So you can search by the album title, track title. You can also search by catalog number or barcode. Like I said, if you have a bunch of physical CDs you wanna look up the data for. To use this API without any code, check out the link in the description to our freemium service. You can access these endpoints and play around absolutely free and they contain links to the Discogs developer portal with instructions to get your API key. Just follow this link here, go to Discogs developer, and then you'll go to this developer section and just click generate new token and you'll get an API token right over here. Once you copy your token, you can use our Discogs search wrapper, which queries the official Discogs API on your behalf, but without you having to write any code, and it will parse out the results into downloadable collections. You can download up to 10 rows per day absolutely free. So I pasted in my API token, and I'm gonna search by barcode, like if you have a bunch of random vinyl records you want to look up, I paste in the barcode and then I execute this endpoint and bam, I get one result because I searched by barcode or it only found one match in the system to that release I was showing you guys earlier. And remember, if you want the track information, you need to get the master ID in this data and look up the details at the master level. So let's do that now. I copied the master ID from the results and then I go to master track list and details. And since this is not the search endpoint, I do not need to provide my user API key as before. Here I just put in the master ID and then make up some user agent unique to myself to query the API. And by the way, you can write your own code to do this. You can see on the preview pane on the right exactly the API request it's making. So feel free to write your own code if you'd rather do that to query Discogs. Now I execute this endpoint and bam, I have a list of the 12 tracks for this master album I found. So I can see the details here, I get the name, duration, and if there's an additional artist, I can see that as well. Now let's scrape details about an artist like Dua Lipa. So I query the API, but this time I set search type to artist, and in the responses, I copy this ID for Dua Lipa. I can then use the artist details endpoint and paste in the artist ID, and then just make up some user agent. Again, as long as it's unique to you, Discogs does not care, just don't abuse their API. And we get back a ton of information, including the artist's bio. We can also see their website as well as their social media handles here below in this URL collection. She has seven different URLs between her official website, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, SoundCloud, YouTube, and Wikipedia. Great, now let's say you wanna do a search for a bunch of items. Go to this Discog search pagination workflow here 
enter your API token, and now let's say we have a list of barcodes. We just got a bunch of vinyl albums and we wanna look up their details. Paste in the barcodes, one per line here, and our service will query their API and combine all the results together into a single CSV file for you. It's free up to 10 rows a day. Make sure you specify release if you're searching by barcode, or you can change it to whatever you're searching for. If you have a bunch of artists you're looking up, provide a query and change type to artist instead. In the results, I can see the workflow queried the Discogs API for each of my three barcodes, and it did some pagination. Some of them had multiple results, so it attempts to paginate until it gets to the end. We can see here in these three attempts. And when I download the file, I'll see it got 16 results, which is kind of strange because I only provided three barcodes. So it looks like we got some duplicates in the results from Discogs. I can see results.id here. This should be unique. So I can see for these first two requests, it's the same barcode and it got the same result twice here in the file. This looks like a pagination issue. It just returned the duplicate result on the second page. And we can see that here, it did the same behavior by returning the same result on the second page. But don't worry, you can just deduplicate it by results.id. I suggest doing this regardless. So just make sure you select results.id column and then Excel deduplicated it and now are down to eight unique results for three barcodes, which is still a little bit strange. It seems the issue is this middle one here ending in 193 returned six different releases for the same barcode. But hey, it's a user contributed database, it's not gonna be perfect. But when I look at these, I can see that it looks like these are just split up by different countries. So maybe it's the same release barcode, just differentiated by country. I'm not exactly sure how the music industry works, but we can use this results.uri column to check out the details for these results. So you just copy this and then paste it in after discogs.com and you can jump to any of these releases and browse it on discogs to see exactly what's going on for any of these results. So that'll help you debug this information a little bit further. And if you need album art, just look for this column here and again, cover image, and you can see the URL, so the album art here on Discogs. And there are a bunch of other fields here you may find useful, so feel free to try this for yourself and browse around to see what you'll find. So hope you found this overview useful. Let me know in the comments if there are specific Discogs use cases you'd like me to cover. Thanks for watching until the end, and why not check out this next video here on scraping the Spotify API for similar data. Like and subscribe for more.